I'm founder and CEO of Starburst. I only have five minutes, so I'm gonna talk fast, but I'm gonna talk about the top five Presto features that created mass adoption. And before I dive in, I wanna clear up some confusion in the community. We are not the candy company. I know that's gonna disappoint many of you, but uh, that is the truth. We are, of course, uh, the Presto company. Uh, again, I introduced myself. Uh, these are some of my co-founders. Uh, we came to Presto back in 2014 after the acquisition of that first business that Eric referred to. Uh, we were looking to figure out ways that we could help Teradata catapult into uh, the 21st century here of, of big data analytics. And we were excited when we met Martin, Dane, and David, the, uh, the creators of Presto, along with Eric Wang as well. Uh, and ultimately, we, that began a collaboration from 2014 to 2017. We contributed heavily to the Presto code base and then ultimately created Starburst in 2017. Today, we've grown very quickly over the last three years. We have well over 100 customers. We've raised 64 million in venture capital and we are growing very quickly. And we're super excited to announce that earlier this week, Eric Wang actually joined the team as well. So bringing the entire group of Presto creators now uh, under one roof. I know the team is excited to have him back. He took a brief hiatus to work on the uh, Facebook portal product, but is now back to uh, back to Presto. So the top five features that created mass adoption. Number one, the connector-based architecture. Of course, this was inherent from the beginning, but the basic idea was to create a shared architectural decision and implementation that allows customers to uh, connect to any data source that they choose. And this idea, was what made it fundamentally different. There were many SQL on Hadoop engines at the time. And of course, Presto is SQL on anything. And that is what makes it special. So thank you to, of course, the, the creators for building that idea into the product uh, from day one. Number two, the cost-based optimizer. This was another major leap forward in uh, 2018. I believe this was added to, uh, to Presto which now allows for much more efficient join optimization. This improved performance by 10X or more, particularly for complex joins, and was a major addition uh, to the uh, Presto project. Some of the folks that worked on that are Carol, Ukash, Gregers, and Piotr, uh, some colleagues of mine from the Facebook team, uh, sorry, from the Teradata team, who, who later joined uh, Starburst. Number three is support for S3 and other cloud storage. This is critical because S3 and S3 compatible storage is the new data lake. I think we all recognize that, that at this point that in a post Hadoop world, the data lake concept remains and that is critically important using open uh, data formats like ORC and Parquet, uh, but now moving them to cloud object storage or in some cases, new S3 compatible on-prem object storage like Minio, my good friends at Minio. David was the main driver of this innovation. Number four is Parquet, which I just alluded to. Zheng Zhao uh, played a major role in creating this uh, um, capability within Presto. In the early days, uh, Presto only supported ORC, and that was because that was what Facebook used uh, and, and needed. But of course, many people use Parquet, and Zheng Zhao uh, worked on this while he was at Uber and, and now at Twitter. This is a major uh, innovation for the project as well. Number five, correlated subquery support. This is critical to allowing the, the ecosystem, those SQL tools to work. You need to have complete ANSI SQL compatibility in order to do that. For example, BI tools like Tableau, Looker, um, uh, this is a critical uh, addition that Gregor's uh, worked on many years ago uh, in the foundational days of, of Presto. And number six, extended support for types, var, car, car, and decimal. It's hard to believe that Presto didn't have these types, but Facebook didn't need them in the early days. And this was something that all of our customers really needed, as you can imagine. And so Dane, Wukash, Carol, and Andre Rosa, who's still at Facebook, but was uh, a colleague of mine at Teradata, uh, built this feature together. And it is so important that the community work together on creating these features. That's how these things get built because it allows you to have all the inputs of all the different potential users. And in this case, this was something very important to sort of Fortune 500 customers who needed these capabilities. Lastly, uh, for sitting through all of that with me, I have a present for all of you. We are offering free copies right now of Presto, the definitive guide written by the creator of Presto or one of the creators of Presto, Martin Traverso, uh, along with Matt Fuller and Manfred Moser. It's available on our website right now for free. If you go there, supplies are limited. Uh, so I encourage you to download that uh, as a small gift from us. That's all I've got. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And thank you all to the community of contributors and users. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, justin at starburstdata.com.
Thanks a lot.